Okay, we're going to look at sky replacement and I've got two examples here. What we're going to do is replace the sky using uh, a mask. So let's uh, look at this first one. This is a fairly simple one to do, but it's a good introduction. So what we're going to do is come over to the left here and pick the selection brush and just increase the size until we've got something reasonable. And we'll select uh, the object itself. There we go. And I'll just take that round. Now, I'm not actually going to select the post here. I, I, I want that to disappear anyway. But uh, I'm going to move up to the top here. It's a little bit more complicated. So I'll just reduce the size of the brush. And we'll just come into this area here. Move up again, reduce again, and we'll just basically pick that area there. Okay, and we'll just run around the edge, just making sure it's more accurate. There we go. Now if we go too far, let's just take this around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to run around the main edge here. There we go. And just take those areas out here. There we go. And if I go too far, if I just hold the Alt key down and come to the other side, it will do the opposite and remove uh, the items selection. And just come around the top here. And remove the so I've just got the main outer areas selected now I could go in and start deselecting the inner areas here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick soft edges and then hit the refine button and what I'm going to do is get um, the software to reselect a re-look at certain areas. So with map selected I'm basically I'm just going to say re-look at this area here and this area here and what it does it uh, allows the software to resample that area. So I'll just make my brush a little bit bigger here and I'll just say resample this area here You can see it's taken out the, the areas. I'll just come to the other side. And I'll say resample this area here. And it's now excluded um, the background, but still kept most of the foreground. And I'll resample this little post. You try, just try and keep this selection brush about the size of the object. There we go. And if it's not taking as the way you'd like, you can actually force it and say this this bit here is definitely foreground. So what I'll do is I'll just run my brush along that edge. And I'll do the same over here. This is definitely foreground here. And this bit here. Okay, and I'll do a mat on here and just make that brush a bit bigger. Let's we'll see if we can include this post. There we go, it's done it a little bit. Um, what I'll do is I'll go back to foreground, reduce the size, and just run down this area here okay I'm pretty much got it so a little bit couple of areas here that uh, we could possibly say is uh, definitely foreground same here 
And what I'll do is I'll, I'll just feather the edges slightly, only a couple of pixels. And um, basically you can spend as much time as you like um, improving the mask um, to your heart's content. But uh, I think that will, that will actually do. Uh, we've just got a little bit over here, foreground again. It's obviously gone a little bit too far and just take that out here there we go right so once I'm happy with that just hit the apply button nearly missed something there We've got this area here uh, foreground and we can just come around here That's done a reasonable job and I'll just do the two posts it's standing on I'll just come down here and you can see I'm just taking the center out and it's finding the edges from that point there we go that's better and just hit apply so we now have got our selection and all we need to do is hit the mask button here add mask layer and it's disappeared, it's gone to transparent. So now what we can do is just, uh, let's get rid of the marching ants, just uh, deselect. And you can either bring in your own photo, just um, pull in another photo and lay it on top, or I'm gonna use a stock photo here. Uh, so I'm gonna use something with, uh, that's probably enough. Let's just drag that onto the uh, canvas. Okay, and what I can do is pick up my move tool and just move it across. But you'll notice it's covering the entire image. So if I go back to layers, what I need to do is put this underneath the lighthouse. So let's just move it down. And there we go. We have now, let's just move that up slightly. There we go. You can resize it. So you can do what you like with it. And we need to make sure that this part is below. And I can just move that up a tad. And now we have a new sky with a little bit more interest. Now of course uh, we can modify this itself. So um, we could go into adjustments and just do a curve. And uh, let's just give it a little bit more contrast there we go and i can go to the background itself and do exactly the same thing but i can use different values so let's pick up the curve there and i'll bring down the lighthouse so that it's a little bit darker uh, in fact I'll, let's just reset that let's just take the very first point and just if i move it up it goes brighter and if i move it across the blacks will get blacker and that way we emphasize the black stripes on the lighthouse okay so it's a very simple way of um, adding a mask uh, and showing a sky new sky behind now if we look up here that's you can see that's quite good uh, but the only thing is is that a bit more grain in the background picture probably because it's a JPEG so again, down to the background, and uh, what we'll do is um, we'll denoise it. So let's just go a little bit closer so we can see what we're doing. And if I pick up the luminance, you can see that now sort of disappearing as we move up. That will do nicely. Move back, and we've got a nice clean image. There we go. Now, not always that simple. So what you can do is, is make your mask up uh, using different techniques. So we used a, a simple selection brush there and we, we used the um, Refine, which works really well. Um, so if you look down here at the, the top of the, the posts, they all look good. 
so um, and certainly at 100% you won't see any any problems in the next video we'll look at this boat and it's more complicated selection particularly the netting area and uh, all the holes in the boat so we want to be able to see the sky coming through those holes and, and coming through that netting